What? Oh, circle of vigor. I activated a circle of vigor. Is that all we got here? Hopefully. There we go. Oh! Wrong button. <laughs> oh! Woo! So now that we got the Andregas... They're similar to butterflies, except they're very ugly, cannot fly, and would choke on cabbage. <laughs> they weave cocoons. The Witcher learned that destroying these cocoons would draw the Andrega queens, and their deaths would mean the end of the swarm. Cocoons? Oh, okay. Troll. Necker. Troll. Are the trolls around here? Okay. Well, again, we're gonna go back to focusing on the Karen. Hopefully this time, there won't be too many people trying to distract me from progress. Oh! No. No more. Can we just run away from you? Oh, god. There's a lot of dead people here. Probably from the Andregas. Is it still following me? Nope. At least we got rid of the swarm. Oh. Just a little bit closer. Ah, I can't get to the like a good spot. <sighs> see? Oh my god. Even if I see it. Oh, maybe I should be using walk towards it. Maybe that'll make it easier. I'll try that for next time. Mm. River? Cedric? What are you guys picking? It's probably up there. Children! Run! Sorry, sorry. Where do I... Yeah, Lobinden. That's their little village. How do I get up onto that ladder there? Here we go. They have a non-human district here. I guess inside the Flotsam, there's no elves. Oh, Triss is already here. In Belk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try, I do, but I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let others' shade poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Va fail. Va fail. Cedric? Triss? How did you get here so much faster than me? <laughs> Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? Mm. I need to make a few orans. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a Witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say. Tell me more about the building itself. 
It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. So they might be dead. <laughs> no harm in trying. In the claws of madness. I'm looking to hunt in this area and I could use some advice. I'm no witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden. That's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairn? Finally, Laredo's splurged. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witches know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. Since I can easily finish off an ensnared necker, it should be child's play for you. I'll think about it. Uh, I don't really want to split the profits with other people. <laughs> the elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished. Almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Saharan? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old. Even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it. Though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. <laughs> what are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they are but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Hmm. Do we need to trade? 227, we're okay for now. What do you got? Ooh, these diagrams! How do I craft something? We should figure that out sooner or later, too. Ooh, armor reinforcements. Came in trap. We don't have the materials, though. Iron frame. Oh, a lot of diagrams here. Can we sell some of the stuff that we got just now? The loot. Andrega loot? Quest items? Yeah, it's not a quest item, so we should be able to sell them. But where do they fall under? Trophies? No. Mutagens? Concentration mutagen. Lesser power mutagen. Alchemy. Oh, I guess they should be under alchemy. Oh, hey, look, they're worth quite a little bit, aren't they? In stacks? Yeah? Yeah? I'll keep it for now, because it's under alchemy, which means we might need to use it later on. Sure, we'll just... we'll just not do anything for now. I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. Now... Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed. And it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. 
You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enshe. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. That sounds like it might be in the same... Whoa! You'll find me by the boat wreck. Sheesh, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? What, can I come? <laughs> so why... why are you not teleporting me again? Jeez. No? Okay. She doesn't have to walk anywhere, she just... I'm jealous. <laughs> frankly, frankly, I'm jealous. I think this might be in the same general direction as the troll's lair. Yeah, south of the forest, and then turn east. I think the troll's lair was like west? Maybe we can visit that on the way. And when we come back into Floatsome, maybe we'll have done all the, the contracts. That would be pretty good. Is there anything else in this village? We see some signs. Oh, hey! Can't pet the dog! You are a craftsman. Excellent work. In it? The finest hides and the tannins on Alpha either. A straggler, yeah? A lobber there? Sometimes a hapless calf. I've even got otter fur for you. You hunt? Oh, we must not hunt in the royal forest. Even children know that. Besides, it's too dangerous to go among the trees now. What with all those monsters? They must be finding more food in the area. A war's brewing, methinks. Not necessarily. The Scoia'tael attack merchants and ambush patrols. Ideal conditions for necrophages. We ought to wait for better times and be satisfied with the little things, like the good book teaches us. <gasps> I'd like to play dice. I don't just play anyone. Tell you what, if I find out you're any good, I'll give you a chance. Oh. Damn, I got rejected. What can you craft? What can you craft? Claw? A trap. Andrega hide armor. Or Andrega hide reinforcements. Superb leather trousers. Witcher silver sword. We don't need that. No. Mm, but I... When I say, can you craft it for me? It's more like I'm borrowing his equipment. Because I need to bring my own ingredients here, don't I? Claw. Well, that seems like a pretty good trap. Bleeding? Yeah, can we just make one just because we want to try it out? We need some venom. But I gotta be careful not to step on the trap myself, because I feel like that's a possibility. <laughs> Especially knowing me. Reinforcements? Hmm. I mean, yeah, we can just try it out for the sake of trying it out. Why not? Okay, that's all we need for now, I think. And then... If I wanna... Yeah, I'm guessing this one's probably not permanent, because otherwise you could make like a whole bunch of them. But I want to put the claw in here. And I think we also had a conflagration trap thing. Yeah, now put it here. Maybe like that. Okay. Hey, the silver daggers are pretty good. Silver! So for monsters. Could've used them against the Andregas earlier. I remapped my keys and I think they feel a little bit better now because I don't gotta like search for the sign I'm looking for but uh, I still gotta try to get used to them first. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Different craftsmen probably let me craft different things. There's another one here. Well, well. Hello. Leave it. Go. Oh. What's the hurry? Nope. Oh, the t it's you! <laughs> no, it's the same stuff here. Maybe different craftsmen in the- in different regions? Hmm. I'll be back. Apparently we're looking for Kairin Mucus. <laughs> in its lair, it just straight out told me. Okay. Hey. Can girls become witches too? 
Yes, yes they can. Green dots Sun. on the map. Mother, I told you to leave me alone. The talking town is someone's murdering kings. Know any kings, mother? Huh. Well, neither do I. They started with kings, but they'll soon come for us. Well, they better make it bloody fast or I do the job for them. Oh. oh, my damn sacrum. Aching and thumping. What do you want? Hey? Oh. Hammer. That's new. Uh, at the moment, I feel like I don't know what those green dots are. Actually, I don't know what most dots are, and it's not on the bigger map. So I guess that's just something we'll have to feel out with time. Oh, my son. You should get away. Oh. Right no one Eat else, something. Elvin, get bitch. some sleep. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Adarita. I will explain everything. You should settle down. You've no right. Find a woman. Leave me alone. What's going on here? A soldier. The sail and never return. What's going on here? This whore's a Scoyatel spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison, kicketting us. Roderick says he bound her, but I don't believe that. I did! <laughs> That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. Stop making me do everything. <laughs> I'll do it, but you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbor. You're a soldier. You can't complain about Phil. Mother. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, Melina. Son. Yes, I'm a witcher. Oh, the both of you's. Ah, sail to your ruin. Maybe the green dots means there's things of interest nearby? Any work for a witcher? Enough work for three, but what of it? We're poor folk. I'm sure we can work something out. Ye best go to Flotsam Town Square near the inn. There are notices on the board there. Just leave the troll be, please, no matter what the townsfolk say. Oh, I was just gonna go. Do you want to tell me why? Any other jobs? Well-paid jobs? Go seek the old man. Lurido splurged on a sorceress, so he's clearly got means in the budget. That's, uh, the lady we saw. The old man is the... the beast. What sorceress? You mean Triss Marigold? Lady Sheila de Tanserville, a significant person, but poor as a temple mouse, just like ye. Seems spellcraft and wealth don't go hand in hand. They say she's agreed to kill the old man, so hurry if you want to jump in before her. Do I really just listen to this guy and not kill the troll? Welcome, white one. My medallion vibrates when you're nearby, and it only vibrates near magic or danger. Maybe it's warning you not to make a pass at me, lest I slap you. You're right. I should watch what I do. Listen carefully. People may say I'm a witch, but I don't deal in spells. You don't look like someone who'd come for a charm or a curse. So you either seek out sensations or hunt witches. Whichever the case, I'm not about to denounce you, nor do I want to see you dancing naked in the moonlight before Veopatis' shrine. How dare you? I want to buy some herbs. Herbs? For personal use. Herbs? Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I don't- I'm not that rich. Although 755? Ah, uh, things seem to cost a lot more money here. Maybe that's not that much, but I feel not super poor. Opponent has raised! Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. 20! Oh, roll the dice. <laughs> Wait, they're not even numbers anymore. Is it the same? Wait, how do I... <laughs> I don't know how to play this at all. Triangle? Pentagram thing? The Venn diagram? Stars? Circle-y? Um... Yeah, yeah, we'll just... We'll re-roll. I don't even know what I- <laughs> We got a pair. Oh my god, you guys gotta stop raising this. This is- The stakes are too high. <laughs> oh man! 
Yeah, huh. Hey, again, again, again. Hey, where do I find the rules for any of this? I feel like they're just not telling me how to do anything anymore these days. Oh, I lost quite a little bit of money earlier already. Oh, I, I rolled it outside. Wait, what? So I only have one dice because I rolled it outside? <laughs> I think the numbers are inside the shape. Not that I can really check it right now. <laughs> what? I, I think I gotta look up this more, okay? This is... We're just wasting money here right now. No. Oh, it's you. You, okay. Cool, cool. Oh, so the, the potion symbol is a uh, herbalist. Okay, all right. Oh, hello. Careful there. This guy's the guard. Okay. If we want to go to the wreckage. Oh, that's not going south, is it? Or, uh, I don't know which way the, the compass. Yeah, that's like east, not south. And the troll is like, it was somewhere over here, I think. Let's try to go there for now. How do we get out of the village here? This seems really long for a side quest, so I'm wondering if it's a primary quest? Welcome, White One. But either way, I think it'll be okay because we still gotta see Lorito in the evening. Do I have to get up to go this way? Ugh. No, we're going outside again. Oh, you guys must be collecting herbs. Nice. Okay, now that I'm out here again. Oh, I gotta go south because I can't go directly east straight from the village, I think. Whoa, is that a broken castle or what? Oh, this is the bridge! Whoa! Come on! Necker! It blocked me. Thank you, master. Drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum, and that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years, he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem, then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass. Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his way, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. Again, someone telling me to not kill the troll. Cho- yeah, Cho Rabbit. That's the guy who told me not to kill the troll. Aw. Oh. If we want a sober... troll. I feel like the easiest way is to find another troll, but it seems like they want to like put this one into rehab or something. <laughs> okay, since we're right here, I guess we'll just go back and talk to that guy. Yeah, th that was the one guy. I didn't even know he was the village chief. Oh. Forest near Floatsum? No. Yeah. Maybe I gotta go back this way. I don't walk nearly as fast as I do anymore. <laughs> In The Witcher 1, so I gotta like, trek across here. It's the dude that was right... Oh. He was around here somewhere. The herbalist lady? was here. So where is that guy? I'm a witch! Oh my yeah. son. You should get home early today. Eat something. Get not who we're looking for. Ah welcome. Ha! The guy was here earlier, but he seems to have walked off somewhere, and I'm not sure how to locate him. Maybe we can, like... Uh, troll trouble. Can we see the map from here? No. 
Okay, so the, the one thing I noticed right now is that it seems like I have to close the, the journal like that and then open the map independently, which takes a little bit of time. We could just kill the troll, or we could talk to the guy. Yeah, he's somewhere around here. Mother, he's around here. I told you to leave me alone. It's this guy, right? No. May the gods this guy. Preserve you. you got a troll here? Aye, he trolls in the forest by the river. But he's a good fellow. Don't you dare harm him. One of the helpful ones, I see. Does more good than Lurido, and drinks a lot less at that. Repairs the bridge and causes no mischief. Don't take your blades to him, please. Go seek the old man. Mm. We lost the other option. Thanks. Keep... I think we have to start the conversation again. I heard you don't want to get rid of the troll. Who'll maintain the bridge when he's gone? Hire some people. Know the cost of a craftsman these days? That idiot troll looks after the bridge for petty tolls, more or less. The bridge is in ruins and the troll's robbing people. Aye, it's because he's hit the bottle. If you could help him stop boozing. I'm a witcher, not a nanny. I'll pay you well. How much? A hundred orens. Two hundred. You're costly, but what the hell? Let him see I place the village's welfare above all else. Well, it's gotta be more orens than me killing the troll. There's still a lot we- Oh, there's it's another- There's another it's gate here. Good for a future reference. To get back into Flotsam, right? Yeah, okay. Um, how exactly are we supposed to do this? I guess we'll just- Go to the troll's lair and find out? Alright. Where is the troll? Somewhere here. I think I hear you. Oh! Hey. Do you want to, like, talk a little bit? How do I get down to you? You're smaller than I thought you would be. Talk? No. No what? No passage. Give vodka you passage. Oh, he's hardcore alcoholic. Why should I pay you? My bridge? This is a pile of rubble, not a bridge. You're getting nothing from me. Ah, from me? You get in mug. In mug? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, are we fighting the troll? No! He got angry so fast! Shoot! Oh, I really wanted to just, like, not piss him off. Holy crap! Damn it! Okay, he's, he's hurting me. I gotta just... Whoa, he stabbed me in the back! We gotta just do this. Whoa, his health is... Quite a bit more than mine. Quite a bit more. I think probably I'll have to- Oh! I'm done, look at my health. Oh god. No, I'm so done. Can I use the Quen sign? Yeah, it saves me a little bit. But not that much. It's already gone. <laughs> In fact, it's the only reason I'm alive right now. I just need to come back here a little bit, chill out, and get back some health. Get back some health. How about that? Yeah, Quen sign absorbs damage. Okay. How about Arg? Dang, I don't wanna... <sighs> Still angry. Should go to the guy's back. Oh, that stupid barrel! Is back. Oh! Enough! Don't hit! I'd be good! 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 <laughs> Don't kill him! You're drunk. Vodka good? Head hurt, I. But no pain in brain. Brain pain always comes with a reason. They kill my woman. She good. She cooked meat. Who killed her? Don't know. Miss it on bridge. Go home. 
No meat smell. Woman dead. Oh. And no head. Guts to drink. In can't go. People that kill. But guts to drink. Oh. He has a wounded heart. If I find your woman's murderers, will you put aside the booze? You no find none. We'll see. I've got friends here. I'll talk to them. Oh. I thought we messed up, but it seems like this guy attacked me just because that's how it happens. Wait for me here. I'll I'll figure it out for you. Now who which of my friends would know how to deal with this? I don't know. Apparently nobody around here. I guess we'll just put this one on hold for now, and we'll focus on going to... Where am I going for this one again? The cave with the missing guards. Where are these guys? Whoa, the cave is all the way back here! That's where I was before, are you kidding me? Okay. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go find the... Yeah, let's go find the Karen thing first. Oh, it's all the way up there. But I can't cross the bridge. But I can go this way. Okay. Okay. Let's just keep trying that out then. Oh. Hey, I think I'm getting the hang of using the Quenzine a little bit here. That really saved my hide, because that guy throwing a rock, that like took away all of my health pretty much. So far, every single contract feels more... Because you know in The Witcher 1, the contracts were like, hey, get five of these items and we'll call it a day. But every single contract so far has been more involved, much more involved, than what we've seen previously. Ooh. Dead guy right here. Not noticed by anybody. We gotta be careful about traps again. Oh, such a nice forest. Uh, why? Why? You're a bandit? Just because you're a bandit? Elves to the moon! Okay. They're all overlapping each other now. Come to Papa! Whoa! Oh! Oh god! The other guy! Wolves bite the dust! Still quite jittery, even though I turned down the... Um, the graphics options a little bit. Maybe this is just a graphically intense game. I don't know. Nope. Random bandits camping right outside here. Oh. Ooh, do we need to use a fireplace? We turn it off, just because we can. There's another one here, though. Hello? Are there gonna be bandits everywhere here? Oh! Are you kidding me. The other guy has a shield. The other guy ran away. Hey. Tamaria for Tamarians! Yeah, I'm for Tamaria too! Oop! He's back. Mm. All these bandits are just trying to make a living. But I'm getting them right away. 50 Orans! Beautiful. Beautiful. This is not where we're trying to go. Nope. Nothing here. Oh. Somebody's... Herb place? Around the corner? Can't really reach it though. Hey! I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. 
Okay, that was a strange camera angle. Mm. Another broken bridge. I don't see the wreckage at all yet. Here? Hmm. Footprints? See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. Hmm. Maybe someone else has been here already. Better to be careful. Hmm. Medallion's telling me something. Whoa! Uh yeah, we gotta. Oh, these are these are monsters. Drowners. Carrying at all. <laughs> oh, Triss. Nice to run into some old friends. Almost brings a tear to your eye. <laughs> Let's examine the traces of the Karen and get out of here. It said search just now, didn't it? Oh, dead people. A ram stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler. Straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Karen, though. Oh, I guess the villagers were trying to, like, poison it. Didn't work out. <laughs> so he's not even susceptible to being poisoned. Or maybe he just didn't eat it. It's a bridge here. Also broken. The Petra Silly's captain? Examine boat. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Examining the boat wreckage. Captain's report. Captain's log. Studded leather. Find the chest used by the Royal Mail. Oh, this? There's two. Captain's log. Captain's log of the Petra Silly. The expedition to Log Muine has proven a success that will doubtlessly please both King Foltus, who so generously backed our expedition, as well as the university. Oswin seems exceptionally pleased. I have never before seen a sorcerer jumping for joy. Oswin tried to get the crew to mutiny, offering them the valuables we had discovered, in order to keep the artifacts for himself. Fortunately, Foltus's marines remained loyal. Passing Vergen, there was a battle in which we sunk the Durden. We had to flee, though, continually attacked by the harpy summoned by Oswin's spell. Oswin's spell still has the power to attract monsters, even though the sorcerer now lies at the bottom of the river. The soldiers bravely repel the monstrosities that harass us. I'm almost finished with my report for Oxenford, which sums up the results of our research and marks the location of the Durden's resting place. We're almost home. Hmm, he never made it home. Captain's report? Sealed. An exact copy of the personal diary of the Petra Silly's captain. Oh, that's a ship name. An elegant note on the cover states, Deliver via Royal Mail directly to His Magnificence, the Chancellor of the University of Oxenford. Maybe we can deliver it if we see that guy? I suppose I could forward this. But where the hell in Flotsam will I find a drop box for the Royal Post? Oh, we don't have to go see him. We just have to drop it off at, at a post box. Good, good. Oh, so we actually came here to find stuff about the Karen, but the boat that crashed here, it has its own story too. Uh, are we coming back here? Mucus? It looks kind of mucusy. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? K 
cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster's sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years? Perhaps a decade and change? Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. <laughs> what makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. <laughs> but you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? <laughs> the Cairn's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Osmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Cairn. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? <clears throat> See you. Seriously? Is that gonna be an ongoing thing here? We're just gonna be left in the dust while the sorceresses all fly away with their portals and whatever. Okay. Osmerk Potion. Apparently we don't have to have it, but that's probably for people who won't get hit by it, which I'm telling you right now, it's not me. <laughs> so yeah, we probably should find it. Even earlier, while fighting the... what was it called again? The Erdregas or whatever, I was already getting poisoned left and right. So we definitely need it. <clears throat> Anything around the boat that we haven't looked at yet? Just to make sure. Find the Osmark yourself or talk to Cedric. We could look around, we could keep an eye out. I haven't been collecting too many herbs within the past little bit because I don't want my inventory to go crazy. But maybe we've come across it already. Yeah. Do we know where it is? We only know where Cedric is. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna walk back. And if we find it, cool. If we don't, we talk to Cedric. Awesome. Okay. I've walked all the way back to, I think, right outside the village here. Haven't seen any Osmerk yet, so I think we'll probably just ask Cedric about it. By the way, these traps I'm picking up here, could I just, like, could I use them in battle? Is that a thing? I feel like it should be, but, uh, we'll have to figure out how to do that exactly. Oh, these are herbs. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Osmerk. Definitely not a super common herb that we see around here. Around here, we only have stuff like mandrake roots and white myrtle petals. Mm-hmm, like that. Which is fine, because we're at the village anyway, so we can talk to whoever knows about this. Triss said, not even just Cedric, other people can know about it too. But Cedric should be in the house right here? Or is it the house? I don't know. We'll have to see. No, this is the other guy. Sendler. No. Thanks, man. No thanks. Uh... Oh, maybe... Uh, no, no, no. If you look on the map, it's in the exclamation mark right there, right? So maybe he's up here again. Yeah. 
It seems like after all our wandering, the time of day is finally... It's finally changing. The sun is setting. Funske. Yes. Cedric, I need some Ostmerk. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If Osmerk grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Caves. Caves. Oh, we have a location for the cave. Oh, I don't know about this. It just feels like this entire area here, that's a big forest. Oh, we're out here too much again. Yeah, how far does this go? Oh, why is there a random house here? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Before we head down into the forest again, maybe let's get back to Flotsam first because we haven't actually looked at it all that carefully. Yeah. Sendler. And I believe if we go down here, there is a place where we can enter Flotsam. Right? I think so. Excuse me, man. You're taking up the space. I don't want to step on you accidentally. Oh god. I just want to jump off here. <laughs> Actually, even around this village, maybe we should be talking to more people. Oh, it's you again. He's sleeping. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 we were behind a house. I was wondering why it suddenly seemed like it was turning nighttime. Have we been inside here? I don't think so. This might be the village chief's house, which we are gonna rob because we can. <laughs> okay. Timber? Hmm. We gotta find the storage area, too. I think it might have been in the inn earlier, but then we were in the- God Whoa, shit! You. Uh, I- uh, ma'am, I, I didn't see you here at all! How's your health, Grandma? Well enough, Sonny. What you looking for here in Lobbenden? Kingslayers. Well, well. Seems I outlasted even Foltest. Now just to outlast Lorido. And I'll be on my way. Grandma? Oh, Chorab's wife. Okay. Yeah, earlier we were in the inn, Get but then- Don't be so racist, little kid. We were at the inn, but we pretty much left right away because somebody rushed in the inn being like, Hey, there's a beast on the riverbanks! Oh, well, not everyone has their own name, huh? No, they do, they do. Not a very good day. Hey, ho! I've been cranky since morning. The little kids are following me. Who's this? Hello? Oh, my aching back. Oh no. Oh, my damn sacrum. Aching and thumping. Well, that's not good. Forget about- Yeah, don't clean the floor like that. Like, no one's eating off the floor. Forget it. Thanks for the timber though. All right, you do you, ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> Geralt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you don't look well, son. Excuse me? Are you judging me by my white hair? Oh, you're leaving after me. Okay. If we head back now, it might be just in time for... Hey, hold on. Why is there a green dot here? Does somebody here have further conversation with me? Oh, look There's at this! In the wind. This is really cool! It's like nighttime now, so I guess the place is getting chilly. Everyone in town is gathering around the, the fire here? here. Sitting comfortably? Oh. Then listen. Not so long ago, our King Foltest had a daughter named Ada. The girl died, but an evil man cursed her and wouldn't let her rest in peace. Ada was reborn as a strigger. Just don't play the Fisolifer! She left her at night and hungry for human flesh, hunted Daddy, in the Zima streets. Daddy! The city Hello? was frozen with fear. 
and the king promised a reward for lifting the curse from his daughter. Many tried, but they all failed. Then a witcher came to Vizima. He heard people out, examined wounds left by the Strigger's talons, and accepted the job, despite many warnings. The witcher fought the beast the whole night. He led her on, dodged her fangs, and parried her furious attacks. Though he was close to death, he didn't want to kill her. This was the first time the Strigger saw such fierceness in a man. She felt the strength of his iron will and back down. No Witches monsters know here. How to dispel enchantments this is a decent neighborhood. Like nobody else. That brave soul also knew how to lift the curse. He sealed himself in the Strigger's sarcophagus beside her mother's corpse and waited for morning. The third cock crow lifted the evil spell and turned the Strigger back into a princess. However, the curse was not dispelled immediately. The Witcher nearly died, attacked by the beast in girl's form. The king's men found him bleeding. They also found the princess cured, but still feeble of mind. That's how Faltest regained his daughter. Such things do happen under the sun and the moon. If we didn't save Ada in The Witcher 1, I guess this would not have been... No, actually, never mind, because... Yeah, that's from the first time Ada turned into a Striga. Okay. Wow, so unrealistic. That was way too accurate! You know these folktale stories? The wind. Usually they by the time... How oh. Came to be. Okay. A long time ago, our forefathers came to this shore. The king granted them land on the condition they clear the forest. Back then, like now, the wilderness was a dark, dreadful place. But our forefathers wanted to settle here badly. They spent their nights on their riverboat. From the deck, they could hear the old man and the howling of werewolves. During the day, they tried to clear the forest with fire and axe. The trees, however, were too large and too tough for Adernian steel. And the forest responded to fire by sending ever deadlier nightmares from its depths. A priestess came here with the settlers. A wise woman, who finally said that this land belonged to no man and would never submit to man. The priestess led the men deep into the forest and showed them the altar of the old god Veopatis. All understood this land would never belong to them, and they could only settle its edge at best. Our forefathers bowed before Veopatis and offered him sacrifice, and he protected them from the forest and gave them the river rich in fish. They posted poles in the forest to forever mark the boundary between the human and that which be not. That is how it was, is, and will yet be. Mm. Thank you, thank you, Chorab, for Hello? shedding some light on the history of your town here. Yeah, that's really cool. Night is creeping in and all the villagers, they're coming around the fire here. To get warmth and maybe to just chill out as a community. Selendi, now take it. I don't think we've been here before, have we? This particular gate? Since it's nighttime now... Oh, where the heck are we? What? Where are we? Do we want to light this? Yeah, when it's nighttime, it's not going to be visible. <laughs> you can hear them snoring from the other side. Uh, oh, that's where, um, yeah, that's where we axed the guy. Axied the guy? Oh, yeah, turn, come on. Get some light going on here. There's one torch. All right, all right. Let's get in here. There's several green dots all over the place. Let's try to like... I'm guessing, yeah, green dot just means something of interest. A person that we can talk to more deeply, maybe. Vilmus Barthok. Welcome to my modest shop. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. Cool. Mmm, would you have any Ostmerk? It's, nah, it's not that easy, is it? <laughs> Ooh, Rites of Meat... I don't even know how to say that. Uh, how much is this? 
One Oren contains information about the Summer Shrine, which enhances the Quen sign. One Oren? Yeah. Robust Claw. Wolfsbane. Well, it's a good idea to just get a look at this and see what people sell, so that if we ever need it, we'll know where to come back to. Okay, so you're like the herb person, sort of. When did I get that? Biter? Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> if we look in our journal right now. Midsummer, the day of the summer solstice. Marks the beginning of the first month of summer in the elven solar calendar. Elves believe that all things under the sun occur in cycles. After midsummer, the days grow shorter and the dying commences to last until the winter solstice. Summer shrines erected on this day give praise to the sun and life while acknowledging death's certainty. Spells that protect living beings and draw power from the sun's heat are particularly strong near these shrines. Witches use them to bless crops and summon fire. Even godless witchers <laughs> bow before summer shrines to augment the intensity of their signs. Oh, okay. So me learning about this, is that going to directly enhance my Quen sign? Or do you want me to find this summer shrine? Yeah, I think you want me to find it. Godless witchers. Sounds so bad when you put it like that. Whose house is this? Oh, it's nighttime now, so people... Oh my god, can they like... I don't know, put these people away? Uh, won't even wag my tongue. That's so sad, you're dead and you just get... Uh, no one's even willing to... Let's take you it. down. What does a bloody Hello? Eat? Good day. Uh, mushrooms? Spuds? Why spuds? Cause he's a human like us. He sweats, he bleeds. Probably eats spuds too. Oh, it's like a fish store? Cool. It's nighttime right now, so everyone's gone back home. And unlike Lobinden, where people are kind of poor and stuff, they gotta stay outside, most people here are rich enough to have their own house, so only bums like Lawrence are standing by the, the executioner place here. Let's check out this Lovely. house. We have to find Lorito somewhere, too. Maybe he's in this house, because it looks huge. If I were the commander, I would be in this house. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Oh, this is like uh, the soldiers' quarters. I'm take that money. Thank you. Don't wake them up. Just let them, let them sleep. Shh. I'm slowly starting to take everything again. I'm hoping we find a storage somewhere soon. No, Lorito might still be here because it's the he's the commander, right? Captain Truman. Watch it, Witcher. Hey, playing cards. Wanna play with me? Welcome. What's it to me? Magnifying glass. You can just find like 30 orins in the random chest here. So I think yeah, money, we probably get a bit more of it in two. Rusty dagger, light leather jacket, orins. Take it. I'll take it. Oh? Worn hardened leather boots. What am I wearing right now again? Worn leather boots. So what I picked up should be better. Oh, but there's no resistance to incineration. We're not getting incinerated right now. No. Yeah, let's have that. Cool, cool. Awesome. Just stole these random boots from... Everything in order? Yes. Of course. Orins. Iron band. Okay, thanks guys. Cool. Lorito's not here though. We gotta go to Lorito's house to find him. Oh! Dagger. Axe. Taking it. Anything else I'm missing here? Leather? Oh my god. Everything's creeping up on me. We should be able to sell the weapons for some good money, I'm hoping. 